thank you all so much for joining us and for being a part of the CDC community. A special thanks to Chairman Wheeler, his team, and Giovanni, and his team, and to my team at CDT. Yay. <laughs> Not quite done yet, though. Thank you to our board, chaired by Professor Deirdre Mulligan, and our beloved founder, Jerry Berman. Jerry, where are you? Say, stand up. This time last year at TechProm, I had been on this job for six weeks. I'd been asked to think about the shape and the pace of change for this organization for the future, and it has changed, and it has changed me as well. So for a quick year in review, we turned, of course, to the interwebs, and it proved that 2014 was a great year for the free and open internet. I promised last year we would run hard and we would get a lot done. The team has started to mock my responses to their emails, which pretty much in response to any questions say three words, go, 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 and go we did. As our two guests noted, we were at the center of the action and the dialogue on shaping the future of the internet. And the CDT team played a large role in a number of this year's most important conversations in the US, in Europe, and elsewhere. We now have the open internet rules that many of us wanted, to, so that the internet is an enabler of not only innovation, but the individual. We pursued mass surveillance reform and the end to bulk data collection. The reason for the lackluster applause is that ECPA reform and the passage of USA Freedom have not yet happened, but these are issues that we will not give up on, and these goals and bigger ones will be accomplished. <laughs> CDT is committed to shaping a digital world that promotes human dignity and digital autonomy. The reality of that world simply cannot be that our most intimate details, our most private thoughts and expressions and conversations are collected, stored, and shared with the government. We continue to keep a clear focus on the multi-stakeholder process for internet governance and we remain a steadfast voice for protecting free expression online, speaking out against laws and practices that would limit the dissemination of speech and of thought. And as everyone in this room knows, 2015 is off to a busy start. We are seeing movement and momentum around privacy legislation in this country as never before, including the long-awaited Privacy Bill of Rights. And for those of us who have worked in privacy for decades, it is an amazing time to be here at this place in the dialogue. And the word cyber is back in the headlines, and new cybersecurity protections are important, but they cannot be used as a rationale for more surveillance and greater erosion of personal freedom. <laughs> CDT will be at the forefront of all of these issues, and we plan on a few new ones as well. We want to address all of the issues that shape the lives of humans in the always-on world. We're exploring the responsible use of algorithms to advance civil, civil liberties rather than limit our choices and our knowledge. We're tackling all aspects of digital life right up until what happens to you when you die. And we've brought a new focus to our health privacy work, including my favorite devices, our wearables our non-regulated health space. And to do this, we are expanding. I am incredibly proud and excited about our international work, our international growth, our expanding Brussels office, and our work in the international courts of human rights. We are building a new West Coast office, engaging technologists and startups in the policy dialogue. And yes, in 2015, we will be even more active, more visible, and have more impact than ever. And just as we advocate for a world where technology is informed by diverse, inclusive experiences and values and voices, 
we are building a team at home that reflects those values inside the organization and out. Since I've started, little old CDT has added 17 new staff members, and I am proud that tonight CDT is, for I think the first time, 50-50 male-female. This is a team that gets out and practices its advocacy in the United States, in Europe, and around the world. And they say that they learn getting out from me. I don't know that that's true. But with all that I've done this year, the thing that I am the proudest of is growing a healthy, vibrant workplace and a team of simply the best minds in technology policy. I want to invite them all up to the stage, and they were supposed to be on the way up already, people. There they are. This is CDT 3.0. Come on, faster. <laughs> go, go, go. These are the people shaping our digital future and fighting to protect your civil liberties. These are the people fighting to advance democratic values in our digital world. They are funny, passionate, driven, irreverent, and brilliant. They go, go, go every day, and they amaze me with their creative solutions to the world's toughest policy problems. CDT will continue to pave the, world, the way on the most pressing problems facing technology in the years ahead, and it is your support that makes our work possible. We thank you.